this checklist over here contains all of the small QA that a designer kind of should do if you don't have a career specialist in your company or if you're working as a freelancer with your client. These are the really nice to have to actually assure the quality of your work and make sure that your design has been developed and given to the user in the perfect shape. Let's get into it. Make sure you stay till the end of the video because after these five small tips, I'm gonna give you the major deal that is actually important to do. The first one in the checklist is buttons and inputs. Something that happens a lot is that developers might get the size wrong, get the placement wrong, well, maybe the font size wrong. So you wanna check that button and input, make sure the sizes are right, make sure the colors are right. And then the most important thing there is to make sure it has all of the different states that a button and input needs to have. For a button that would be containing the hover mode, the selected mode, the disabled mode. And for the inputs, it's gonna contain the hover mode, the selected mode, errors and disabled. And that's what you should check for while QAing buttons and inputs. The second thing on this checklist is actually specs. So you want to make sure everything is into specs. You want to make sure that the lines are in the right a position that they need to be. You want to make sure that the spacing between two components are right. You want to make sure that the sizes are right. You just want to basically take a screenshot of the developed page and just put it on the design page, turn the opacity down and see what's not in the right place and what's not in the right specs. So that's basically what you should do. It's super easy. And again, it's gonna help more to your design looking more like what it is uh, that you actually had in mind and what is developed right now. The third thing is color and like general UI. So for example, sometimes colors may get, I don't know, maybe they have, they are using some components and some actually resources that have like assigned colors for I don't know, errors and stuff like that. You want to make sure that the colors that the developer used is exactly the color that you used in your design. So make sure that the colors are right in the text, in like backgrounds, in your gradients and stuff like that. And then by using UI, I mean you want to make sure that everything that was supposed to be there is there. For example, if an arrow is missing in a drop down or if it's not in the right place in that drop down, is a line is suddenly missing, I don't know if a line is actually gone from a card and it's supposed to be there and that's basically it for like generally checking and actually just understanding if everything that needs to be there is actually there. The fourth thing on this checklist is text. So you want to make sure that the texts are again up to spec. And something that developers miss half a lot of times are the weights of the fonts that you use. So you want to make sure that the weights are right because it makes a difference. For example, you've used, I don't know, semi-bold and the developer just put bold there and that's going to make a difference between your design and what's actually upload it. What is that? <laughs> okay, and that's what you want to keep in mind for while checking the text. And you want to make sure, for example, if in the paragraph the line height is right and the sizes basically and stuff like that. And the last one and the fifth one in this checklist is animations. So all those micro animations that you had in mind and all those that you actually implemented in Figma or just sent a text to the developer to just let them know how that animation is going to work. You want to check those out. You want to see if they've been done right. Okay. That's basically it for the animations. And by animations, I mean micro interactions too. So basically if the drop down opens and like it opens in a weird way, you want to mention that. And yeah, stuff, small stuff like right, that. And the last one that I told you guys that I'm going to reveal in the end of this video is actually testing the flow. This is really important because sometimes you just forget something in the design or you don't think that it's necessary. But when it's developed and even not even in prototypes, you can understand if something is actually missing from a flow or something is more than you need. Do so you want to like check there and see if there's any things like that and you're gonna fix them because again you want to build the perfect product for your users 
and that's it for this video i hope you enjoyed this i've been doing this a lot and it's just getting well it's making the design so much better and like the developers are happy i'm happy with how the design turned out and in small startups or just working with clients this is actually important to check them out and make sure it's worth don't forget to like this video subscribe and leave a comment let me know if you've done this before if you're looking forward to doing it and if you have any tips for me obviously i'm gonna see you in the next one Bye!